I woke up all the hibernating flies out of the windows, curtains. have washed all of the curtains and vacuumed up all of the flies. We had a real fly problem the other night. I noticed the flies were sort of piling up and maybe sleeping or hibernating or whatever they do in the folds of the curtains. And I was vacuuming them out of the curtains. And after I vacuumed for a while, I noticed that uh, they were all sort of flying around here on the top. When Bo got here, he helped to vacuum because he's a bit taller and can, can reach up there <laughs> with the vacuum. And we got them and um, pretty much got rid of all the flies in here, but we just have to keep an eye on it now. We heard there was a fly problems in chateaus, so now the curtains are drying and it smells great. And then I'm going around and washing the baseboards and the doors to get that done. And then we'll uh, wash the floors and uh, dust and add oil to any wood furniture. Uh, that needs that and do a general uh, cleaning. Bo's parents are coming uh, this weekend and they're gonna stay in this room. One little guy up there who got away, but we can live with that. So very happy to have solved this alarming fly problem. Now just swept the floors. Now just gonna put a protective oil on them and then we're good to go so we were busy working in the yard today and a couple came by to get a room for our bread and breakfast and it's our very first uh, rental so we are tonight working on setting up our first breakfast for the bed and breakfast and we're planning on having breads and butter and jam and coffee and hot tea as well as orange juice and a hot chocolate mix in case someone wants some of that it's kind of popular in France and uh, so just getting that together so on Sunday morning our bread baker doesn't open until 9 and so we are in the process of making bread in the bread maker, some raisin bread, as well as some um, Italian bread, morning bread. And we've got bread recipes here and everything for cream and coffee and hot water and orange juice all lined up and for the breads to go into. And we'll just try to put together <laughs> a respectable petit déjeuner for them tomorrow morning. We have our first guests this morning and we didn't have any butter <laughs> and any fresh bread and I tried and any jam. So I tried to make in the bread maker and it was not good. So Bo just ran out early this morning to go and get some and he got it just in time. I gave them a tour of every part of this castle imaginable just to, to keep them busy until he could get back. <laughs> We finished our first breakfast for the bread and breakfast and uh, the couple that was here were so nice. They asked us to join them, so we did. And, you know, I had a bread that I made in my bread maker <laughs> and then we had some, some French bread and then Bo ran out and got some fresh bread as soon as the bakery opened and, you know, some jam and <laughs> he had to run and get the butter and the jam. Uh, so we could have it, but they weren't very hungry, but still it was a successful little petit déjeuner. <laughs> I just cleaned 
my Greta for the second time. We had family here and I, I cleaned this room and it took me an hour and 30 minutes about, just because I'm not efficient. I'm, you know, don't have the experience of uh, cleaning hotel rooms and what to bring and bringing the wrong size sheets and uh, forgetting to bring the soap and then, oh, forgetting the bath mats and having to run up and down the <laughs> castle steps to, to get everything. But today I thought, okay, we had guests last night. We had our first guest and they stayed in this room, which I cleaned yesterday in an hour and 30 minutes. And so I timed myself again today to, to be more efficient. I knew what size sheets I needed. I knew what size uh, towels. I got all the soap on the first trip, the little glasses, everything that goes into the room, but it still took me an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> so I have to get uh, more efficient uh, for when we're renting out five rooms at a time. Um, I think part of it is I'm just cleaning it how I would want it cleaned and maybe that's a little too micro. Nonetheless, I love it. It looks great. It's ready for the next the next visitors. Mm -hmm.